some of you may have noticed I talk about traveling a lot. I talk about reading a lot. Some of you may pass these things off as kind of just banal hobbies of mine. I think they're not really important. How important that is. By the way, I'm here with my baby. Hey, Lily. She's alive. Lily, smile for the camera. I'm out here another day hiking. I just love hiking. I was reading uh, Ashley Vance's biography on Elon Musk. How many people here have read that? And one of the things he talks about is how important traveling was to giving him sort of an intuitive sense of what people wanted, of giving him a broad perspective on society so that whenever he created products or services or businesses, he felt he had a better sense of whether they would work out or not. Why does traveling do that? Well, I'd argue that traveling isn't the only thing that does that. What I think Elon was talking about was having a broad perspective. Steve Jobs also had very broad perspectives on a lot of different subjects. He knew Japanese calligraphy. He dropped in on a ton of different classes in college. He didn't take a formal route. He traveled to India. He had all these different perspectives on life from both subjects he studied and places he traveled to that when it came time for him to start a business, Obviously, he's been very successful, and throughout the number of products he launched, he was very successful over and over and over again. So, traveling, reading, and what I would argue, conversations with strangers outside of your groups. These are three powerful ways of broadening your perspective. I know how many people here are Jet Set Crew, part of my, or Super Affiliates, part of my training programs, but obviously, I'm teaching skills there. I'm teaching data analysis, copywriting, research, optimization, marketing strategies, conversion rate optimization, etc. I'm teaching skills and I'm also showing people who to market to. But the point is not to take exactly what I do and copy it because then you'll be competing with all my other students, right? If you're marketing to the same person I market weight loss products to in the same exact way, you're going to be competing with other people. The point is bringing your own perspectives into things is important and to have that perspective you need to do these three things or more. I have conversations with all of my Lyft drivers. They're from other countries. They're from all over the world. I have conversations with random strangers in the different countries I go to. That's the other thing. Going to different countries. You see how other people live. You see what other people consume. You see what products are popular in other countries. You see what pain points they care about. Oh, check out this view. Look at this. Pretty cool. We're hiking up in the Panga Canyon right now. Beautiful, right? I love that. That is so cool. I love it. And we're not too far outside LA here, actually. That's where we live, right around. We're kind of a hippie community. I love this type of stuff, though. I love being out in nature. I think humans are meant to live in nature. They're not meant to live like walled up cattle and cubicles. People talk about the cows or the chickens being caged. I'm like, what the hell, man? The humans are motherfucking caged. Uncage the humans! People are so worried about the animals. Uncage the humans. This is a real problem, guys. And that's what we're trying to address. We're trying to be uncaged. We're trying to do whatever we want. And the third way of bringing yourself new perspectives is reading. You get such a broad perspective of different people, different characters, different places, different times. Reading, and I'd say reading is arguably the easiest way to broaden your perspective in life, the amount of success, the chances of success, everything gets rigged in your favor the more perspectives you have on life. So this is something to aim for. This is something very important. I know a lot of people here are trying out different business systems. If you guys are interested in being an affiliate marketer and having an online business, I have a free webinar which shows you exactly how to start your own online business. And at the end, I make an offer to those select few who are interested in working with me and working with my system. We do webinars every week. If that's something you guys are interested, check out my education. If you guys are taking somebody else's education, that's totally cool. It doesn't really affect me. Don't I don't really care, but that's great. The point is focus on that. It's not about jumping around and finding the right system. It's about application. It's about action. I could go into anything and basically make it successful. Obviously, I have my own business. I have my own things that are working. But the point is when you have a broad perspective, when you intuitively understand what type of people want stuff, you're going to increase your chance of success. So like, subscribe, comment. Hopefully see you guys in the next video. See ya. I didn't really believe it at first, but then I did more research and did it myself and you know, work. Uh, within the first uh, few exercises, I did the exercises immediately, 
and I got immediate sales, and I just couldn't believe it. Uh, I've been with John's program for a few years now. Uh, I remember when I first started out, uh, making my first like hundred dollars was a big deal. Uh, but you know, I've stuck with John's program, and you know, changed my life completely. Uh, able to you know afford a mortgage uh, and just live the lifestyle that I want right here in Vegas.